This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. When you've shared a workbook, you've done so because multiple people are going to go out and use that workbook. Well, what I also want to show you how to do is show you how you can identify what changes have been made in the workbook by using what's called highlighting the changes. It's a really great feature if you want to visibly, excuse me, visibly see what changes have been made. So I'm going to go back out into my Excel spreadsheet here, and the title of my workbook is Collaborating with Others. And you can see the square brackets here at the top. It's a shared workbook. Well, on the Review tab, I want to go in and check out the track changes. I want to make sure that the highlighting changes has been turned on. So I'm going to click on Highlighting Changes. And I, yes, check the box. I want to track changes while editing. And I want to see when. And maybe if you want to see who does it as well, you could click on the who. And then you want definitely to highlight the changes on the screen. You might also want to list changes on a new sheet. That's a possibility as well. I personally don't like that feature just because I like to visibly see what's happening when it's happening. So I'm going to say OK to that. And it says, well, so far, no changes have been found. So since I last saved it, since I last was here, nothing has been changed. So that's great. I say OK to that. But now look what happens when people start to make changes. This is a new cell, right? And I get the border around it and identifies that something has been done. Let's go over here and let's delete some items. Ooh, that's a whole bunch of showing up. Now let's make this one. I'm just going to go in here and put a fill into the background. You notice that one doesn't get the border around it, the fill into the background. And let's grab this one and let's just change the font in this one. And you see, again, that one is not getting the actual borders around it because physically it looks different, but the words haven't changed. Now, if I go in here and type, um, I'll just do an X. Now, now we get those borders around it because physically something has been changed, something has been added, something has been deleted. So when you're wanting to see changes people have made inside of your shared workbooks, make sure you go in and turn on the tracking feature so you can physically see what's happening on the screen or when you open the workbook the next time after someone else has been in it. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.